And we're like, I'm fine, and we're in the uh, dressing room floor at the Shepherd's British Empire. Uh, what time is it? it? Must be getting on for the uh, first support act in the NME Awards show 2009. Find the Shepherdless music uh, with Pink Still Dirty on tonight. That's me, yeah, yeah, we're playing tonight. We're at Shepherd's British Empire. <laughs> Sound check. So luckily, I forgot some of the chords in one of the important songs. They're yeah, always doing, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, Stevie Street's playing the guitar. Wang his way on to the guitar, uh, making his uh, Shepherd's Bush debut. Keep it up, boy. Uh, and Graham Coxon playing guitar. Um, Neil Ruddock. Over in Southampton, in the end of the He's not here, I've never met him. Um, Dot Allison, he's going to be singing with us. Um, Robbie Fowler's not here either. Oh, yeah, and the strings, yeah. Yeah, on, on the, like, half a dozen songs, I think, we're going to be just replicating what we do on the album. Uh, yeah, the string section, the cello, a viola shape thing, a viola, and a violin. I always, yeah, I always get a bit, a bit funny before gigs, to be honest. I don't, it's not the most comfortable place for me. It's so, yeah, uh, quite therapeutic talking about it, probably. She's the last of the English. I think it's the, the songs, yeah, I don't know if they're so much broken down as a bit more spacey and. Yes, the slower, I think it's a bit, a bit slower and mellower, so the, the words are just a bit clearer, I think. So I think when you have to pronounce the words more clearly, you actually have to say something, as opposed to being able to, you know, be a bit more string of consciousness based and just rattle off things that, you know, might be seen as poetic or descriptive without necessarily meaning too much. Not that things have never meant anything in the past, but uh, it's more... Am I, am, I, am I telling the truth? Are there more stories this time around? I, don't I think see, people seem to be asking more about the songs these days. That's that's one thing I've noticed recently. Uh, you took me by surprise, you see, you're actually asking about the music, so I don't know what to say. But, but I always think it's more, more powerful using the first person, though, definitely. You say, like, I'm feeling a bit off because I've had a bad day or she was feeling off because she, she dropped something on her foot. It was like a bit, bit more disconnected. So you can take more risks maybe. Uh, in The Last English Roses, like, it's ended up The Last English Roses is a boy. And in the video for it, Douglas is taking it away and he has one boy getting off with another. Uh, but I, I'm not in that bit of the video. So. Yeah, about that, that time in a young man's life, a young girl's life, where they're sort of blossoming, you know. Even like you might be at your peak, you know, when you flower as an individual. Yeah. She's the last of the English. Yeah. Tell you what, man. Oh, yeah, well, we're starting in Cardiff, moving on to Southampton, then we cut across the uh, Pennines, no doubt, we go to Norwich, then we cut across the Pent, no doubt, we go to Lincoln, Nottingham, Brighton, Folkestone, Leeds, then we cut across the Pennines, then we go to Grimsby, and then we end in Edinburgh, and then back across the Pennines, come home. Uh, look at that, and I think of Tang Hancock and Pilchards. There's one episode where he's advertising Pilchards. And then it shows you the sales chart of the Pilchards company. And it's going up and up, and then it tells you it starts advertising them, and it goes down and down. Because women's be Pilchards for men. Do you love all